There we go. Perfect. Good morning, modern steaders. Today's the last day to get in on 10,000 modern steaders. Can't be wrong. Three incubator giveaway. I'm gonna put a link right here to the blog post to go read and find out how to enter in to win one of three incubators. I'm so excited. I can't wait to find out who wins the incubators and what their plans are for them. Today we have a few oddball projects we need to get done. We need a bucket. Got one the other day for the project. <clears throat> Mr. Daddy Long Legs likes it behind the glass. Today we're back with the wide angled lens on the camera. Can you tell any difference? Let's grab one more thing while we're over here. I almost got it. We're gonna need it for after. Grab our bucket. I need a lid. My shop area in the basement is so disorganized right now. Oh, I gotta need the time to clean this at some point. I try to keep everything in a proper spot so I know where it is when I need it, but sometimes it just gets messy. All right, let's see if we can find the drill bit we need. Thinking we need half inch, and the half inch is missing out of here. We got a new one. I have a bucket. I have a toolbox just for drill bits, and it works nice. So it's not half inch. Might be three quarter we need. Yep. Three quarter paddle bit we're going to need for this project. Let's drill a hole right in the bottom. Let's get everything back in my box. Time for a bigger box, but this will do for now. Keeps them somewhat organized. I try to keep a little tube of silicone sealant around the house. And I just put a little bit on the threads. If you don't have any, it's not the end of the world. It's just kind of a little extra step I like to take. And I just Thread it in. There. That works nicely. up out of our way while we work. What happened is, is we just had one of the handles bust off. They sit up here with five gallons of water on them. When I move them around, I'm not always the kindest person jerking around. and So, we had one break uh, like a month ago. I just haven't repaired it. But once we got these chicks in here, I knew we needed to get it fixed. And this is just another one of those projects. Uh -huh. 
This was just another one of those projects that got neglected while we were building the off-grid outdoor kitchen. When you're doing big projects like that and you want to get them done or you're committed to getting them done, stuff gets put on the back burner and it's going to happen. So if you're doing a big project, be ready for it. There's nothing wrong with it. Now we're going to go bleed the ear out of the system. Basically, it gets air bound, and I found the best way to re get the air out by starters is pulling out one of the water nipples. And if that doesn't work, which is looking like it's not, because it's been a while, we need to take this end off and see if we can get the water to come out. And if it's still being stubborn, this pot isn't fun, but it's being stubborn. in the line. I'm sitting around. There is. Let's go get, take care of the kink. A couple of kinks right here in the hose just been sitting around not being used for a little while. I mean realistically I could cut off a good amount of that hose because I don't take it off anymore like I planned the use for it. Let's do that. Let's just cut it off. Now we've got to be fast. Yeah, get it started. Let's push this on. Get it locked in place good. There we go. Take this back off and bleed the air out. Look at that water pressure. Just from a five gallon bucket, and it's got probably three gallons in it right now. So all the air is out of the system. Not completely. Let's work our way up. There we go. Perfect. Some people complain about these water nipples. They say they don't work. I have found as long as I have sufficient, as I have found as long as I have all the air out of my system, it works great. If I don't have the air bled out, that's when I have problems. This is the first time these chicks have used this system. They're already figuring it out. Doesn't take them very long. I have this one set up on an angle where we have the chicks in here. You know, and they grew, some of them are smaller and then so they get taller as they go and there's still a few runs. We wanna make sure they can all reach it. Get my door lock out. Put all these chick nuggets on for you. Stick the lid back on it. We got about two and a half gallons of water. That'll be enough for a few days. Gonna stick the extra hose right here just in case we need it at some point. We'll have it. We'll know where it is. They know that one nipple works, so they're all over there. They'll figure out the rest of them in a little while. All right, one more project to finish up before we leave for work. Now we don't have to keep filling up a one gallon water reform a couple of times a day. Whew, I'm glad we got caught up on that project. It makes it so much easier with the five gallon bucket. Pluto, this way. Come on. Come on. 
Come on, let's go. Gina's got the cat carrier out, getting all cleaned up to go get Figaro in a few days. Beginning to get that time of the year. We're gonna be needing to burn firewood soon. It's getting cold that night. I used to have a tarp on this firewood pod. I don't know what happened to it, if I needed it for a project this spring. So let's keep my firewood covered up. At least when it gets closer to burning it. I don't wanna have wet wood, and I don't wanna have wood covered in snow and ice. That's just a pain. That's one of the reasons why I like the pods. The snow gets on here, I can just brush it off easily, off the tarp. If I have a choice, I like using a black tarp. It attracts the sun, and it's gonna dry out our piles better. I like to keep the end open like this, so we get good airflow keep the very top of it covered a little bit like so makes me happy pull up a little bit over on this side I'll need these pallets later on but for today I'm gonna use them to hold my tarp in place I guess I better get inside and get ready to go to work. It's that time of the morning. If you haven't checked out the new website yet, I'm gonna put a link to it right here, and you can go over, check it out. Don't forget, sign up for the giveaway. Today's the last full day. Tomorrow, we're gonna be picking the three winners and sending out emails. This is gonna be exciting. I'm gonna leave a link for that here and in the description down below. And we'll see you right back here tomorrow at Lumna Acres, a guide to modern homesteading, self-sufficiency, and freedom. Bye. What'd you get into? You're covered in cobwebs, silly.